Khalid Al Dawsari from Saudi Arabia, the mom. Inshallah, during Ramadan, um, back in 2021, I also took part in the class at the King Abdul Aziz University in Jeddah. So, from that 2021, Sheikh even told me, Inshallah, one day he will be coming to Ghana. But we don't, even sometimes we are very tight and busy. But during this Ramadan, when we went for Umrah, so I and Sheikh were in the same house. And those students from Ghana who are studying in Saudi, some of them know about him. So they introduced that to Sheikh Ismail. And then they went to Riyadh and met up together. And Alhamdulillah, from there, he mentioned Jibril. He knows Jibril and Zaki. And Alhamdulillah, he also mentioned, they mentioned my name about the project I took back in 2021. And from there, we started doing the Zoom call on how we can bring him to Ghana to benefit others. So that is how everything started. And Alhamdulillah, he arrived in Ghana. Sheikh also traveled all the way from Kumasi to Accra. We met him at the airport. And from that day, we took him straight up to Kumasi for the workshop because we don't have we wanted him to stay in Accra for one day to meet up with some people but during the time of the or what do you call it for the workshop we have to just go back to Kumasi quickly to do all the arrangement by him because he is supposed to sh show us where all everything is supposed to be at then Alhamdulillah when we went to Kumasi within two three days the project started and the project started and then a project started on Wednesday Thursday and the Friday we took day off and then Saturday we went back to the class and then uh, what do you call it uh, Sunday we took off and then Monday and Tuesday was the last day and on Wednesday we have a farewell with all most of the Islamic scholars and the chiefs they also came there and the program normally starts from 9 a.m. till 3 30 p.m. so after the program now Sheikh is supposed to go back to Saudi but we have to be in Accra for some days. And Alhamdulillah, we also have another section in Accra. So if you want to know about Sheikh Khalid al Dawsari, what he came here for, this is what he came here for. And yesterday when we arrived, we also went to the GTV to also record something about the Islam period recording. And Inshallah, from next week up to Friday, they will play that on the national TV. So this is how we get into us, Inshallah. Developing the group, the aim, they are to develop, developing global leaders to present Islam. So when I'm with him, I say, this is what we need. We want him to come to Islam, Ghana. So he said, I don't know Ghana. This is the first time we talk about it. But he said that he here, he worked with some Ghanaians. This man, Sheikh Khalifa, they, it was with him in the workshop at Makka in what called Jibril. So we talk with them and to the end. We have come to uh, going to a uh, uh, shanty one week the workshop. So before coming, I told him if you come here, you have to show me this uh, eminence in our Ghana Islamic education. Preserve the identity, make sure to present our Islamic culture through this English uh, language that uh, has been uh, basically uh, is, is the international language as you all know. Uh, uh, so I just just to brief you on the program, the program is very simple, you know, just it's, as you can see here, use your English to present Islam very in a very simple way. It's, it's an, you're supposed to basically teach people how to uh, improve their Islamic English as a start. This is a program that started 30 years ago, but when it started, it was like specific English, English for a specific purpose. Those who are in the field of English language, they understand what I'm talking about. So basically, it's like English for uh, hospital administration, for business, English for that. So what we did, we did English for Dao at that time. Then uh, as time went uh, on we, the program evolved and became what different because we started introducing in it the principles of human resource development we got bigger because i started changing position i got higher in my studies i became the head of the professional learning and the 
richest company in the world, the oil company, Saudi Aramco. I was the head of the professional learning. I started leaning. So, so I got a lot of experiences. So what I did, I've started, you know, two other religions. You have, uh, you know, you have very few people who converted wholly to the other side. But mainly, their target is not conversion, wasn't conversion. Their target was more of, I would say... Taking people away from Islam. Corruption. Oh, yes. you, because oh, yes. as, as they came to establish as usual. that if you come across a child above seven years old... Betting upon that, so when one of them mentioned, do mention that, I did then give him back the answer by saying that if Jesus was born without a father, that qualified him to be a god, then Adam is more godder than Mola about Islam. Islam means total submission, submissiveness to the oneness of God. Meaning in Islam, what we do is to strictly obey the commandments of Allah without the inclination of personal perspectives. And where the woman can be uh, the best. So they complement each other in this aspect. You cannot say that man and my rather they were given a portion of inheritance. So basically we were talking about if you look at this dignity that was attached to women which has never happened in the history of the world except when Islam came into being. When the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam came in the Arab culture, we all know destiny. So first of all, I would like to talk about women dressing. In those words, that ah, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam also did that. So he, he taught us and how to do it. According to the scripture, the Quran says that God, 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 uh, God is clean. And then he, so through that, I'm introducing Islam, not directly, but indirectly. Eventually, I'll be able to, even if 